Grassley, all yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this very important hearing so connected with lots of deaths in the United States as a result of drugs, et cetera. Uh, corruption threatens economic, social, and political de development. The illicit drug trade is a massive barrier to ending corruption. So we're here today to discuss a complex nexus. Many countries struggle with regulating and stopping the flow of illegal and illicit drugs. Uh, this impacts Americans, as evidenced by the ongoing drug overdose crisis, which of course is driven by fentanyl. China ships fentanyl precursors to drug cartels in Mexico, who then funnel it into our and through our southwest border. Now for nearly 15 years, the United States has sought to work with allies in Mexico to stop the flow of drugs into our country through uh, Merida Initiative, yet Mexican-based drug trafficking organizations maintain control of the drug trade through violence, through intimidation, and through corruption. Some progress has been made in this space. Uh, just a few weeks ago, Mexico recorded the largest seizure of fentanyl in the country's history. Also, our nations are having ongoing talks about how to stop the supply and demand of drugs. Rooting out corruption isn't confined to Mexico. So as we review our efforts, we must ensure strong oversight. In August of this year, the Justice Department Inspector General reported that DEA hasn't been keeping track of the partnerships with foreign law enforcement to combat, combat the flow of illicit drugs. When uh, the OIG checked, the Drug Enforcement Administration headquarters didn't even have a complete record of the foreign law enforcement units DEA personnel established. And according to the Office of Inspector General, after serious incidents involving alleged intelligence leaks and corruption, the Drug Enforcement Administration had failed to perform programmatic reviews on the causes of those incidents and to prevent similar events again. Another country on the front lines in our effort to stop the illegal flow of drugs is Haiti. Uh, in that country, we also have a need for strong oversight. Since the Haitian president was assassinated in July, we've learned that two Haitian nationals wanted in connection with that assassination have had past associations with the Drug Enforcement Administration. Uh, Haiti's uh, DEA office was also the subject of recent whistleblower allegations and damaging reports issued in July by the U.S. Office of Special Counsel. Yesterday, Senator Durbin and I sent a letter to the Drug Enforcement Administration raising our concerns related to both the Office of Inspector General and the Office of Special Counsel reports. I look forward to getting prompt answer to those questions. Today's hearing is on a broad and complex issue, so I want to learn about the best ways to address the connections between illicit drug trade and corruption, what tools can be used, and what programs the federal government has in place. But it's also our job to ask if these tools and programs are effective, if they're used uh, in a good way of taxpayers' money, and how to improve those tools. I look forward to having interesting and important discussion with our witnesses on these subjects. So thank you. thanks again, and I thank our witnesses for taking time to be here to help us explore this issue.